Well, it looks like we'll be taking on Boise State in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. We also did win the Coach of the Year Award, which is kind of nice. And out of all of their players, we got to look out for the running back, 95 overall. That might be the best player we've gone up against. Now, can somebody please explain to me how they thought it was a good idea for this to feature Boise in it? Because this kind of feels like home field advantage. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's our first bowl game. And just to add fuel to the fire, these guys are 81 overall, so quite a big jump up from most teams we verse. In fact, by far the best team we've ever versed. Let's take it short. If we get this win though today, we are officially... Okay. If we get this win today, we are officially a 10 win team, which would be amazing. Blitz gets through. I'm just gonna have to take off here. Slide. Straight to, come on, man. Teddy Moss obviously very nervous about this game. Look at that. That's a pick. Ah, man, I saw that last second. Even if I, hello? This is gonna be a pick six, unless Cunningham. Nope, that's just a pick six. That is so pathetic. We kind of do want to just have fun with it today though, because Boise is that good. Like it's just, they're so much better than us. You know what I mean? not even close. Plus, if Moss is going to miss some of these passes like we've seen, it's just already over. Like, it's just already over. There we go. Please hit it. Pollard. Ooh, the step back in the juke. There we go. Nugget gets some good block in there. Come on, Nugget. Back it up, mate, with a big one. Cut it out even. No, oh, the juke had him on skates. Okay, we got our secret weapon. I'm starting to think, and this is very premature here, but I'm starting to think that Nugget might do better against better teams simply because that agility and that speed and all that is there. Where C is, whilst he probably will have success, just is not very fast. There we go. Good gap running. Again, not the biggest fan of running it. I think it's very boring gameplay, but you got to try it, fellas. You just got to try, man. Look at number 60 with the imaginary block. And Nugget going to open it up for us. They scored on the kickoff. It was the running back. He went for 99 yards. So that's 14 Boise State points. And we are still yet to uh, see their offense, which is crazy. I really wanted to hit triangle there. But I think I'm just going to have to take off. This is going to be a very prime example of why CS isn't going to be good against better teams. I have a feeling here that we are just going to get dominated. Like this is a loss of yards. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just so predictable. That's not man coverage, is it? Look at that pass! It looked like I threw it out of bounds, bro. Oh, look at this. We got numbers. We got numbers, please! Over the top, Tombs. The Duke! Tombs, isn't this stiff arm? Hell yeah, brother, let's go. See, this is Gat. Just bring out Nugget, bro. Just bring out Nugget. He's playing better anyway. Quick strike through the middle, and there we go. Don't ask me how we're in this game. I have no idea. All right, we're going to finally see the Boise State offense. Here we go. There he is, the bastard. The 95 running back in all his glory. The tackle fry. That, was that Wildcat? Okay, holy shit. Never mind, that was just the quarterback. I do feel like we can consistently score. I just don't know how we're going to stop these guys. Plus, imagine how fresh these guys are. Like, these guys can't possibly be more fresh. Good take, TFL. I can't wait to see how defensive line linebackers go up this offseason. How is that not a pick? Hello. No, nah, it's not. But we just take the middle here. Easy catch. Regat, there we go, sees his biggest run. This does, again, look like main coverage, but I could very well just get, be getting baited. If I can throw that quick enough, good catch, Gordo. Frick me. Okay, that's not how we drew it up, but... Here we go, Nugget. I could have run that better. I'm starting to think that we just run it out here as much as we can. We might score here, but Boise gets the ball to start the second half, and I'd really rather it be tied up, you know? I at least want a chance to win the game. Right now, I don't feel like there's a chance. Might have to get out of the pocket, I think. Yep, gonna have to stretch him thin. 
Dump it off. There we go. Sears, he's in. Beautiful. Extend the play. He missed the PAT. I am just sick to death of missing PATs, so I'm going to get us a good kicker. All right, second half time. We are down because of the missed PAT, so... Okay, we were on the outside of him there. Good dump off. That's a good play. They're going to break the tackle there too. I'd love to be able to send a blitz, but I just don't think it's going to work for us. Come on, broken tackle. Yeah, we're not going to be able to tackle this. That's a seven. No, it's not. Typically, the red zone defense can pull through, but, you know, we'll see, man. There's a long way to go here. Play action. Dump off. Just hit him out of bounds. This is a very... I'm through. Ah, oh, I thought he was going to cut it in. Okay, good play. Get out of the pocket here, obviously. Oh, square is open, though. Look at that. Gordo. Big Gordo down to the 15. We might see a chance of some broken tackles here. Moss is a volcano. Because they are definitely trying to make us fumble it. There we go. See, so yes, just fall in. It's time. Now, I'm scared about number four back there. Just all over us. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. It's just a lose-lose battle, mate. It just can't be happening. Washy, good hit. Okay, three to the left. So I'm going to jump on Washburn. Don't jump. Watch the drag. Oh, they go short. Yeah, he just bumps off. Oh, man. Like I said, we're not. We're definitely not meant to win this game. So win or lose, it, it's all good. Just for a bit of fun, you know? Okay. That was a good job to get back there. Oh, he pushed me at the last minute. That's still not a first. Do we send the blitz? I think as soon as we send a blitz here, they just score instantly because we're not going to have the personnel to cover other players. Washi! Good hit! Let's go! Big fourth down! Wait, is it crazy to run down the clock just to give them no chance here? Quick dot there to Cherry. Let's go. At least on first and second down. You got to put the faith in the running backs that got us here in the first place. I mean, it's third and three. I think we just go back to it. Oh, you, you're darkin'. He's injured. Two Sears. Wow, that's no good. Don't they normally call a timeout when somebody gets injured? Why is the clock expiring? Does the NCAA not care about the safety of their players? No? Oh, okay. Well, then there's no problem. Ah, we're, we're fluffed. Yeah, we're fluffed. <laughs> I didn't realize we didn't have that much personnel on the right. That is my mistake. Good tackle again. Oh, pick it, please. I mean, Des is on fire. I'm going to let the computer control him. He's naturally going to play better. Oh, they go. That's a horrible play. <gasps> oh, he's out of. I thought I messed that up. That's not going to happen. Okay, beautiful. Excellent job. Okay, I think Circle just scores here. It's going to be close. Oh, we get it to the running back instead. See us. That is big boy yardy. Normally, when we're in this spot, we have one, two timeouts, maybe. We've got to be intelligent about how we go about it. Today, no. We have three. Look at this. The blocking is just immaculate. All right, let's get to the red zone. Oh, the nugget trucking somebody? I think he got the truck because they're trying to strip it. That would make sense. So it's just like getting a broken tackle, you know? It is what it is. Nugget again! First down. Wait a second. We could just kick a field goal. What am I doing? I'm tripping. I am tripping. We don't even need to get seven here, bro. Oh, I'm such a goose. <laughs> See, that's how you know I'm programmed to not uh, kick it or punt it on fourth down. I can just kick a field goal right here and win the game. But instead, my only option was to score a touchdown. Suddenly scoring a touchdown doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. CS, don't score. Woo, you see that? Oh, CS got injured again. We're still going to go for seven here. It just makes more sense. And Nugget got it. Holy. Who would have thought going into a game against 81 Boise State that Nugget would be the hero? Of all people that could have, you know, been celebrated and cheered as a hero for this massive once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It was Nugget. <laughs> Just gonna let you know now. There's a very high possibility. Ah, oh, he didn't even make the end zone. 
He almost caught that. <laughs> what a game. Holy. I gave us no chance of winning that. But Clinton Atogwe in his first ever bowl game against all odds on the road as well. This is basically a, this is a home game for Boise State in a bowl game, which is ridiculous. Teddy Moss, two touchdowns, one pick, started off really sloppy, but turned it around. Can I also say that that was Teddy Moss's very last game, so I'm glad that we were able to get him a win. See, yes, that was also his last game, 98 yards, 4.6 average. Hell of a day for him. Did kind of get outshined by Nugget in some areas, but he just didn't get as many runs, so I mean, props go to see us here. Toombs had 77 yards today. Eddie Gordo played his last game. That's really sad to see. Still have a lot of up-and-coming players here, though. And then defensively, Jake Dessler. This guy just came out of nowhere. Last year, he I don't even think he played, but this year he's just been everywhere. Hell of a player. Can't wait to see him next year. Charles Washburn is leaving. That is sickening. Very, very sad to see. 74 overall. Sack numbers, no sacks, no picks, no nothing. But uh, Tony Adair played his last game. That's really sad. So Adair's gone, Washburn's gone, Roly Poly is gone. Are you kidding me, bro? So we're gonna come away with the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. That's lovely. I, I like mashed potato and stuff. It's pretty good. Got an upgrade just in time for the offseason. We're actually gonna get 3,000 points here, even though that's not really gonna do a lot for us. Tyler Sears gonna break a rushing record. Sears gonna break the school career touchdowns. Moss gonna break the passing yards in a career. Moss also gonna do the same with passing touchdowns. Cherry was our school career leader in reception. Edmund had seven sacks. I don't even know who that is. I'm not even kidding. Cincinnati Tech is ranked. Moss had 2,500 yards, 19 touchdowns, 11 picks. Honestly, I was expecting more ints than touchdowns, so that's good. 811 for Sears, 335 for Moss, 324 for Nugget. Receiving is going to be Haas leading the team. Toombs with 683, Cherry 621. Okay, so Haas is the real freaking deal, man. Blocking, James Cobb was our best O-lineman, technically speaking. Cunningham, 5-3. And, and then defensively, Washburn, I don't think anybody was going to come close to him. 11 TFLs, 4 sacks. I didn't have a pick all year. That is very surprising. Very cringe, actually, because we dropped a, a million of them. Dessa going to lead the team with Fry in interceptions. Okay, so we are going to get Frank Miner, a freshman left end. I understand that this guy probably isn't a one-star player. However, I'm going to say that he's probably a two or three star considering we are a two or three star and he's a transfer anyway. We're probably just going to take him here. So there you go. We signed 24 players. 23 of them were one stars and one of them was the four star, Andre Holt. You can also see that we're up to a two star prestige. I mean, our running backs are so bad, but that's okay. Still have Cherry, who's going to be an 80 overall next year, which is kind of crazy. But after that, they both leave and then we're stuck with like Okiki and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about Terrence Thomas. This guy's a 74 overall. By far the best player. Cornerback, we signed Aaron Robinson, 72 overall. We also have Leon Browning. We also have Fry, who is leaving this year, but him upgrading is going to be a massive addition here. So our cornerbacks for the first time aren't complete and utter dog shit. And then Dessa at strong safety, which is also great. I love Dessa. Definitely one of my favorite players on the defense. All right, here we go, fellas. This is the be all end all. All right, so the head coach is going to give us quite a big bonus here. Offensive and defensive coordinator, not so much. I can already see that Dessa's got a plus seven. Wheatley got a plus six after not going up last year. So Dessa's only a junior as well, by the way. Becomes one of the best players on the team instantly. Cunningham goes up to an 80, which is really nice as a sophomore. Cherry is the best player on the team now. Not very fast, but where did all those stats go to? Trucking? Break tackle? Are you telling me my boy's about to break tackles? Plus seven to Duke. Plus eight to carrying. 99... When did Cherry get 99 catching? The fact that he didn't go up means he already had 99 catching. What the hell? He went up plus five in spec catch. Plus nine in route running. Okay, Cherry's a beast. Like, Cherry actually is a beast. Haas went up plus four in Excel, so he's got 91 Excel now. This is really, really good. I think that we're going to dominate this year. Lo and behold, we are not going to start out the season ranked. And unfortunately, I can't get a look at what the overall of the team is because I have to add the Patreon's recruits in. So as for our schedule, now that we are a two-star officially, we have to verse rank one and rank two. So we're going to start off in week one against rank two Clemson, following the rules of the dynasty. We're then going to get a rematch of our bowl game, but this time we are at home against Boise State. In week four, we then travel to Georgia, who is the second highest rated team I could find that was available. We then get to host Montana before starting to enter conference play. But fellas, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. If you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace.